the internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Doctor Education. Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about typhoid fever, enteric fever, salmonella infection. Yes, this is a very common topic and many of you might have already suffered from it in the past and this is very common. So you have to share this video. It's very important. So what is typhoid fever? How it is caused? and what is this salmonella typhi this is the bacteria which is causing typhoid fever so we'll be talking about the causes the the symptoms the tests prevention treatment everything even the prevention uh, the possible complications will be covered so stay tuned let's cover this topic <laughs> Typhoid fever is an infection that causes diarrhea and rash and it is most commonly caused due to a bacteria Salmonella typhi also called S typhi. Now this S typhi can spread through contaminated food, drinks or water. So if you eat or drink something that is contaminated with this bacteria, the bacteria enters your body and it travels to your intestines and then into your blood right then in the blood they travel to the lymph nodes gallbladder the liver the spleen and other parts of the body some people become carriers of this s typhi and continue to release the bacteria in their stools for years and years spreading the disease that's why it's so common typhoid fever is very common in developing countries like india most cases um, of, um, of, of typhoid in the US or other countries are actually brought in from these developing countries. So what are the symptoms? See, when you get a symptom, early symptoms include fever, you will be generalized feeling of illness and some abdominal pain. Fever can be between uh, up to high uh, 103 degree Fahrenheit 39.5 degrees centigrade or even higher and there can be severe diarrhea and this occurs as the disease gets worse some people develop a rash which is called rose spots rose spots which which are small red spots on the abdomen and the chest and Many times there are some other symptoms like there can be bloody stools, there can be chills, there can be agitations or confusions, right? There can be delirium or even some hallucinations, right? There can be dif dif difficulty in paying attention, nosebleed, severe fatigue, slow, sluggish, weak feeling, all these things can happen, right? So what to do? You need to go to a doctor. A doctor will basically take your history, a physical examination will be done, a complete blood count will be done which will show a high number of white blood cells. We already made a video on WBCs and why they are high. A blood culture will be done during the uh, first week of the fever that time only only during the first week of the fever it can show some uh, salmonella typhi bacteria other tests that can help diagnosis uh, include uh, the elisa blood test which looks for antibodies of salmonella typhi bacteria also called typhi dot igm and igg right there can be fluorescent antibody studies to look for substances that are specific to this particular bacteria Platelet count can be done, they might be low. Stool cultures can be done. So finally, what is the treatment? The main treatment here is antibiotics to kill the bacteria, but fluids and electrolytes can be given by even an IV route through a vein, or you may add them into your drink with, so you will have to take plenty of oral fluids 
and electrolytes something like electrols or ORS so that you are well hydrated antibiotics antibiotics have an issue there is increasing rate of antibiotic resistance throughout the world so your doctor will have to check the current recommendations before choosing an antibiotic and the culture report will also help so what happens prognosis see sometimes uh, symptoms usually improve in two to four weeks a month of treatment right and the outcome is likely to be good with the early treatment but it can become poor if complications develop and symptoms can return if the treatment has not been completed you know if they have not cured the disease so what are the complications see you can have the bacteria is in the intestine so you can have intestinal bleeding you can have intestinal perforation it can go in the kidneys so it can cause kidney failure it can cause peritonitis so severe abdominal complications can happen so if you have been exposed to someone who has typhoid fever if you have been in an area where people have typhoid fever and you develop some symptoms like these or if you have had typhoid fever and then the symptoms have returned then or you have developed some abdominal pain decreased urine output or any new symptom you should go to a doctor and get evaluated now for prevention there is a vaccine and vaccine is recommended for any travelers outside uh, which are going to developing countries or which people who live in developing countries right where typhoid fever is prominent is present right so we will be making a different dedicated video on typhoid vaccine right when you are traveling to such a area where typhoid is more prominent drink only boiled water or bottled water and eat well cooked food right and eat them when they are hot wash your hands thoroughly before eating and even after water treatment waste disposal and protecting the food supply from contamination is the most important public health measure which the government should take to actually control this situation right uh, carriers of typhoid must not be allowed to work as type as food handlers this is also very important and for that you can actually check the uh, the antibodies so typhoid fever is also called enteric fever this is all about this fever and uh, i hope this video helps stay connected Stay healthy.